Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Apple Assembly Lines podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance, and today we'll show you how to set up a web server on your Apple IIe computer so you can serve up web pages directly from your Apple IIe to the outside world. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the web page that I'm going to try and expose on the Apple IIe. Um, so you can see it's just a simple breakout game, and I've created this using HTML and JavaScript. Um, so if we actually go over and look at the uh, HTML, here it is. Um, so it's one big uh, file, and the there's two images. One is the a little icon in the title uh, in the address and the other one is the Apple II uh, e name at the top and I've embedded both of these in the actual HTML as just base64 encoded and this is just so I don't have to load up separate image files off of the uh, Apple II floppy disk so it's all in one big flat HTML file so there's the two images um, here's the JavaScript for the actual game and then finally at the bottom here are the links that I had at the bottom of the HTML so what we want to do is we want to transfer this to a virtual floppy disk image and then use ADT Pro to transfer that virtual floppy to a real floppy on the Apple II uh, so to get it onto a, a virtual floppy I'm going to use the virtual 2 software on the Mac um, and what I'll do is I'll just use copy 2 plus um, so let me fire that up and what we'll do is we'll just mount a um, folder on the Mac as a ProDOS. So if I go under uh, media, I can say mount folder, and I'm going to choose this uh, web server folder on my desktop because that's where my HTML is. And I'll say slot two, drive one. And then what I'll do is in virtual two, I'll insert my, um, I have a copy of the Contiki web server, uh, which I've called Chris web server. And what I'll do is I'll just copy then the HTML file for slot two drive one to slot six drive two. Uh, I only need to choose index.htm. Uh, the other files in there were just test files and go ahead and copy it. Um, it's going to tell me that it already exists because I've been experimenting so I'll just say copy anyway and so now I have a uh, virtual floppy with my web server and um, the Contiki uh, configuration files and so what I need to do now is just use ADT Pro to transfer that um, from the Mac over to a real floppy disk and then I can go ahead and boot it on the Apple II so let's go ahead and do that we're going to want to expose the Apple II web server uh, to the outside world. And to do this, we need to open up um, a particular IP address that we'll assign to the Apple IIe um, and then tell any outside connections to go there. So to do that on your um, Mac or your other router software, um, here I'm on the Mac. I'm going to fire up Airport Utility and I'm going to select my uh, wireless router for my Mac, click Edit, and then here I'll go under Network and then click on Network Options. And here I want to make sure to enable NAT port mapping protocol and also enable the default host at and give it an address. Um, here I just chose 10.01.252. It has to be outside of the DHCP range. Uh, that's the key. So say save on this. Okay, now I've exposed the default host at 10.01.252. So if I go back over to the internet tab, you can see here that this is my IP address that um, my ISP has assigned to me. And so now if anyone goes to this IP address, they'll actually get redirected to that 10.01.252 which is going to be my Apple II web server. Um, 
the last thing I want to do is actually give this a nice um, domain name so that people don't have to actually type in the um, IP address numbers. And to do that, I'm just going to use uh, one of these free dynamic DNS servers. Um, here I've chosen Duck DNS um, just because it was the first one that I came across. And so all I had to do there is just uh, pick a domain name, which is apple2e.duckdns.org, uh, and then it automatically uh, discovered my external IP address and assigned it. So now, once I set up the Apple IIe, then anybody should be able to go to apple2e.duckdns.org, um, and it should get redirected to my Apple IIe web server. So let's switch now over to the uh, Apple IIe. We'll transfer the, uh, the web server disk image over and then we'll fire up Contiki and configure it and see if we can get the web server up and running. Okay, so now we'll transfer the disk image um, from the Mac over to the Apple II. And to do this, we'll just use ADT Pro uh, through the Ethernet card. All right. So now rebooting the Apple. And we'll tell it to boot up disks, uh, slot six, drive one. And here you can see this is where we actually configure the Contiki web server. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, first thing to do is make sure the uh, uh, Contiki is configured correctly for our Ethernet card. So we have the Ethernet 2, so we choose that. It's in slot 3. And so it'll go ahead and save that to the config file. And then we'll go and actually configure the uh, IP address. And for this, we will go ahead and choose uh, the IP address for the uh, let's see, we'll do request web address at the top, so I'll just use the tab key to get to that. I'll hit return, um, and it should fill in everything automatically for us, except we need to change the IP address to match uh, the IP address that we um, exposed using the airport uh, utility on the Mac. Uh, so that's the IP address, and we want 10... Actually, what we want is 10.0.1.252. And get rid of this junk. And we'll go ahead and save that. And close it. And once that's done, we should be able to actually fire up the Contiki web server itself. Um, so that's webserve.system. Okay, so it looks like it's up and running. Uh, it says the IP address 10.0.1.252. Um, and so now we can go over to the Mac and see if we can actually get to that uh, on the outside address. So over on the Mac, we can just fire up a browser here. We don't need ADT Pro anymore. Um, so let's fire up Safari and we'll go to our Apple IIe web server. Uh, you can see it's already running from when I was testing it before. Uh, but if I get both of these in the frame and I hit reload, uh, you can see it's actually requesting the uh, web page from the server. The Apple IIe responded by loading index.htm off of the floppy disk 
and there's our web page up and running on the Apple II. Okay, as further proof, I'll pop the lid off the Apple IIe and show you the Ethernet 2 card. Uh, and you can see the blinking lights as it loads the web page. So the Ethernet 2 card is in slot 3. So that's right here. You can see here's the uh, Ethernet cable coming out of it and running to the outside. Here's the lights. Uh, so here I'll load up the uh, web page in my phone and let's reload and you can see the lights are blinking as it loads the page the disk is showing activity and there it is running so there you have it thanks for watching